Well, U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry is in damage control mode after some behind closed door comments where Kerry apparently warned Israel that it was headed into an apartheid state. He issued a strong statement apologizing and said he wished he had chosen a different word. For more on that, let's go to RT's Gaiane Chachakyan. We know that politicians are not always free to say what they want to say, but here we see how the U.S. Secretary of State succumbs to pressure and in a matter of days walks back on his own words. Last Friday, John Kerry had a closed-door meeting with European and Japanese officials. Later, the tape of that meeting has emerged with him offering his analysis of the failure to move forward with the peace process and eventually arrive at a two-state solution for the Israelis and Palestinians. On that tape, John Kerry says a unitary state winds up either being an apartheid state with second-class citizens or it ends up being a state that destroys the capacity of Israel to be a Jewish state. Ever since the tape has emerged, he's been attacked left and right. Some on Capitol Hill have even called on the Secretary of State to resign. You can imagine the pressure of the Israeli lobby here. So on Monday, unable to stand by the words he said on Friday, John Kerry released a statement saying he wished he could rewind the tape and use a different word. He goes on to say, I will not allow my commitment to Israel to be questioned by anyone. This is not the first time that Obama administration officials have to reiterate and often apologetically their commitment to Israel. We remember how Israel blasted Washington's deal over Iran's nuclear program and now Israel basically scrapped months of John Kerry's work by saying the peace process is over. It seems there is nothing John Kerry can do about it. He can't even publicly object to it. We see the Obama administration walking on eggshells here. That was RT correspondent Guyane Chachakyan.